Hello guys, welcome back to Pentafinity. Today I'm going to be helping you solve one of your main problems when you're working with Android Studio. So to test your applications, you would have uh, down installed an AVD or uh, Android emulator, which is virtual. And this would have got downloaded on your C drive. And this takes a lot of space, like mine takes 9 GB sometimes, and it goes on increasing. So when you fill your C drive, your computer slows down when it, if it's too much, if, if it has very less space in it. So, and even the Android AVD manager doesn't give you an option to save it on another drive. And it would also not, uh, and even, even though you move it, it would show an error that the AVD is not found. So today I'm going to be helping you out fixing that problem. So let's start off. Okay, so now I'm going to be installing uh, Android emulator. I'll be clicking on the AVD manager and I already have one. And as you can see, it takes 9.1 GB. So if you, if you fill too, if you fill too many file folders in your C drive, your computer will surely get slower because that would be the drive where your Windows is running. So, and even when you install the virtual device here, you create a new one, it doesn't give you the option to install it in another place. So you can see I'm creating another virtual device and uh, I would select it to pixel to Excel or pixel three, click next. And I would choose logo, which I already have click next so i would name that let that let the name be the pixel 3 dot ap1 api 25 and if i click finish it's gonna install it on the c drive so at first it may uh, it may vary to 1 gb and then it increases to 9.1 gb as over here so that would be like filling up your c drive and you would not like to do that and as you can see even does not give you an option to do it in another place so i click finish and it gets downloaded to your dot android which should be in your c drive you cannot move it from there because it will uh, download it back to the c drive now if i open the file explorer you will see that uh, now if i go to c drive and dot android you would see this as avd here and your pixel 3 api dot api 25 has been downloaded here click on properties it takes 1 gb now but it will vary up to like 25 g uh, to 9 to 10 gb later so you wouldn't you know want it to stay in your c drive so now what i would be doing is i would think that yeah let's move it to the d drive i go to my d drive and add this new new folder here and i say avd okay and i would get back to my c drive and think that i can come to my d drive and put it to avd so now it's moving it to avd but when you come back to angle studio in a minute you will see something happen so i'll just go back to avd can see it's installed here i'll just delete that let's delete it now so this is so it's over here now now if you get back to android studio and click on the api file and if i try running my code it gives you an error avd system path please define android sdk root so it's not you know, the, there's an error that it cannot find the AVD. So I'll just stop that process, close that. And to fix that, we get back to our file manager. And you should have another file, configuration setting file, with the same name as your AVD file, as it's here, so Pixel 3 API 25, and the same ones here. So you got to open it. You will see something like a notepad here. And this shows which path is the uh, which path is the AVD. So I so now what you have to do is completely 
delete that part then you get lawyer and you delete it like remove this part from C and you get back to the AVD pixel API dot AVD okay so this is the AVD click on that go to pixel and no no you get here you when you click beside it you this happens click control C on your keyboard and get back to your uh, you know the file which was in before this one not this one yeah this one here so yeah this opens up again okay so we have to remove it one more time because place that and paste it here and hit control s save it here you can see i opened two windows by mistake close one and you don't need to do it two times i've done it two times just hit save control s and now if you open it you'll see that the path has been set to pixel 3 api that place in this pathway in the location here and now if you have to restart your android studio once because it has to be refreshed i'll just now if you go to pixel 3.api file you can run your application that you're working on taking some time yeah now our Android Studio is ready and now we can run it on the Pixel 3 API, API 25 which we did it. So now if I click on run, it's starting the AVD and our emulator will start off in no time. So you wouldn't get any error. Starting the emulator. So I'll get back to AVD manager. So now you may have to switch out this Pixel 3 API 25. Oh, it's already running. Okay, so that's okay. See, it has opened up here. Click on that. And yes, our, our emulator is ready. So it's too big here, I'll just minimize it a little bit. Yes, our emulator is working properly. And now if you get back to your C drive, go to your... Uh, now last time when we had gone to C drive and open the... Uh, it showed 1 GB, but now if you see, it doesn't show you so much. It's just... To 29 bytes so we save space get our computer running faster and our avd has been is here now so not there we get to d drive avd search for avd you will find it here so that's it for today guys and uh, now you can run your Android Studio by Android Studio emulator by saving it in any place. You just have to change the path in the uh, configure settings of this file. So just like the notepad, just have to open it, set the path. Thank you guys and we'll also be coming up with the Android Studio tutorials. So Planet Affinity signing off.